buried in mines like these are rare earth elements that power America's national defense system. Special elements like neodymium and samarium help the Abrams tank navigate and power some Navy ships. They make up night vision goggles and radar systems. But let's assume you're not in the market for tanks or lasers. What about cameras, computer hard drives, that iPhone you can't live without? They all use rare earth elements. Same with the electric batteries and motors in those hybrid cars like the Prius. But none of it runs without China, which controls 97% of the world supply. That's tremendous leverage uh, over the United States. That's, this is not the position that we want to be in. Especially now that China is drastically cutting how much it exports. One U.S. government report found element shortages have already delayed some weapons production. That's why Congressman Mike Kaufman introduced legislation directing the Pentagon to come up with an alternative supply. And so the fact that we're relying upon a country that is not an ally to the United States puts us in a very vulnerable position. But one of the biggest mines outside China is right in Southern California. So how much rare earth does the United States have? We have about anywhere from between 10 and 15 percent of the entire globe supply. Jim Sims works for Molycorp, which bought the American mine after it shut down 12 years ago. Back in the 1990s, China flooded the marketplace with product, drove down prices to the point where it pretty much put all of its competitors out of business. The former premier of China said that the Middle East has oil, but China has rare earths. So they understood early on the strategic value of developing their rare earth uh, supply. Now the California mine is coming back to life and has applied for a government loan guarantee. If we're able to secure it, it'll help us get up and running faster. But critics say the government, meaning you, taxpayer, would have to subsidize way too much of the cost just to make the American mine competitive. You can't have a mine that's, that's open domestically and has 20 or 30 percent higher price than the rest of the world market. That doesn't help us at all. Andrew Lubin is a metal trader who imports minerals from China. He says, yeah, China's cut back on exports because they're using more of their own elements. Lubin says American mine owners are using the threat of a Chinese boogeyman to pressure the U.S. government into removing environmental restrictions. People are using national security as a reason to scare the, some, of the, some of the pollution problems away. Right now, the Pentagon is working on a report to predict how a shortage of rare earth elements could impact national security. That report's going to be done in the fall, and when it comes out, we may have an even better idea of just how big this problem is. Chris Lawrence, CNN, Mountain Pass, California.